Right, morning all, it's time for Iron Man, um, ready to go. Uh, so first thing is, uh, turns out I didn't drink too much last night, I pretty much just crashed out uh, at the normal time, so uh, I'm, I'm fighting fit, ready to go. Um, second thing is, I have um, told Ada Caslaw in the most polite way that I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I reject her views, much as I respect them, so um, I have rejected my fate, which means I'll be adding two elder things into the bag. Uh, I've already done it. Uh, the reason they're at the top is because I tried to do it again, because I'd forgotten I'd do it. Uh, I don't want four of them in the bag. Um, next most important thing is I have had my basic weakness drawn, uh, thanks to the Mythos Busters, and it is... Through the gates, which is an absolute nightmare of a one, but um, I, I wasn't going to reject it because um, I, 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 I didn't want to do that. Um, and I said, oh, and that might be a hypocrite. Um, and then the final thing is, um, I just realised that I um, I, uh, I called my deck the fun one and, and tried to claim that was uh, <laughs> that was some joke that I'd invented. Uh, completely missing the point that the Mythos Busters had already called this a fun one. So I'm actually going to change the name of my deck for that reason. Uh, so apologies for that. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started to go. Um, if you're wondering why there's five out here, it's because there's an errata for solo, which means you must have five uh, Witch Haunted Woods, otherwise the scenario can become impossible. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably give you an update a little way through, and then maybe show you the last uh, minute of action. All right, wish me luck, guys. See you in a sec. <laughs> yeah, I'm back very briefly. I just wanted to show you my opening hand. It's it's pretty much what I would have wanted. The track shoes, the old key ring, Pete Sylvester, Live and Learn, and the Fire Axe. Uh, it's going to take me a little while to get all that stuff out. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think I might leave the Fire Axe for a while and just get um, the old key ring and something else out. But there we go. All right, catch you soon. Okay guys, so far so good. I managed to pick myself up three clues, got a couple of victory points, three victory points. I've just drawn this card though, which could potentially kill Peter Sylvester, so I thought I'd just uh, record this bit. Alright, so I am four on five. Um, now there's no point relying on live and learn, because that's after the test fails, so that'll be too late. So I think that this would be a good chance to commit. Last chance. So here we go, that leaves me with three. So I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on five. E, excellent, passed, okay, good, phew. <laughs> okay, I've chosen not to advance here, I'm gonna pick up all the clues and advance all in one go, because uh, I believe that's a, that's a good strategy. I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Anyway, check in a sec. <laughs> okay, things have just taken quite a serious turn. Uh, through the gates has just taken out, look what I found. Um, which is good, which is a good, good, good bit of irony on the part of uh, through the gates. So that's a bit of a shame, because I was hoping to use them to maybe get these two. But I'm not in too bad shape, so they're gone from the game. Okay, so progress report. Um, I've advanced the act and the agenda has advanced. Uh, the situation's got a little bit worse. Um, I've now got a coven initiate and a goat spawn engaged with me. I'm in this stupid location where you have to pass an intellect three test to get out of. And the only good thing that's happened is when I had to discard like almost the entire encounter deck, the, uh, the, the big witch uh, went. So... I need another clue before I can get to the finale, but um, yeah, it's going all right. I've got, um, I have got four victory points, uh, which is good news. So um, I, I've got pretty good hand. Um, I'm wondering about whether I could do something clever with narrow escape, but I might save that for the for the finale. Uh, it's just this test that's that's going to annoy me, but I have got to live and learn. Um, so we'll see how it goes. All right, okay, catch you in. Okay, so quick update, it's all going a bit wrong now. Um, I've advanced uh, all the way to the final act, uh, and it turns out I completely forgot how this scenario works. Uh, I was, uh, yeah, all the witches are gonna go towards here. Um, I need to get there, I need to get the killer or get the clues. I've still got this goat spawn, I've got this bedeviled. Uh, it's all looking a bit rough. I think my plan now is I'm gonna go and pick off these guys, uh, use maybe one of them to get rid of bedeviled. Um, oh no, I can't pick off those guys, I've got the fire axe. Ugh. All right, okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of the bedeviled first, aren't I? So uh, I have got the amulet. My discard pile has been taken by a band alone, but I have got a narrow escape in there. I have got a narrow escape in hand. I have got the old key ring. Uh, I think it's still possible. I've still got a reasonable amount of time, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's looking a little bit dicey. So, uh, okay, let's see how we do. Okay, so things have taken a rather serious turn for the worse now. I've now got Annette Mason, uh, the Priestess of the Coven, who is on plus two to her fight and her um, evade, this blooming goat spawn, and now I'm frozen in fear. So I think this is rapidly becoming impossible. Um, I think the best thing I can do here is probably evade, try and evade these two. 
Um, oh, actually, no, I'll, I'll, I'll leave Annette Mason because I can handle the horror quite easily. So I'll try and evade these two and see if I can get rid of this and just see what next turn brings. Otherwise, I think this is looking a little bit, a little bit south. Okay, I'll do this on camera. So first two actions is to evade the priestess. So this is against four, so I'm six against four. Uh, do I want to commit something? Not really. Six against four. Okay, good. She is evaded. Um, now I'm going to try and evade the goat spawn. Oh, hang on, that's five against four, because I've got racked. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I've got racked. Um, okay, I guess I, what I could do here is get rid of the goat, get rid of the racked. T uh, cancel the attack of opportunity, which will help me pass the frozen fear. Now nah, it still doesn't work, does it? Because I'll be taking too much damage. Oh dear. Okay, I'm going to have to... No, maybe that is a good plan. Because I don't really need this anymore, do I? This is a nightmare. Uh, oh dear, I don't know what to do. Okay, um, no, I'm going to evade the goat spawn. So this is uh, six on two. Why don't I evade the goat spawn first? That would make loads more sense, wouldn't it? Right, okay, good. Annette Mason attacks. Uh, oh no, wait a second. Firstly, she discards top three cards of her deck. Is it three or five? It is three, one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty much that, isn't it? Um, now she attacks, and her new friend attacks, and these guys all engage me. Oh, I haven't checked to see if I've got your frozen in fear. Yeah, I think that's curtains, isn't it? <laughs> Minus one, I did get rid of frozen in fear. Well, that's one good thing, isn't it? Uh, upkeep, uh, nimble, and I get uh, Ancient Evils, of course I do. Lovely. All right. Okay. Checking in a sec. Right. I've just realised I've got a way out of this. <laughs> I've just realised I've got a way out of this because I can now, this is the start of my turn, I forgot I could kill her. <laughs> I forgot I could kill her. What have I been doing? Right. I'm going to play Trial by Fire, which is fast. So I've got three actions. I'm now on five combat. Um, and using the fire axe, I'll do two damage. She has got retaliate, and I can take a retaliate. So, I've got three goes. Um, if I play resourceful, I can bring trial by fire back into my hand, which I can then commit to the next one. So, let's do this. All right, okay, this might be working. So, I am six on four. Now, I'm not, I'm five on four because I've got um, what's it called? Racked five on four. That's a minus one, that's two damage. Oh my goodness. What a turnaround? I can't believe I didn't think of doing this before. And I will pull back um, Trial by Fire. Second action, I will commit Trial by Fire to an attack. I am six on four again, and I've got a re reroll. Maybe, just maybe. Skull, that's a pass, isn't it? Yes, excellent. All right, okay. <laughs> Why don't I just do that in the first place? I haven't missed anything, have I? Uh, no. Cool. All right. Good. Well, she's dead. That, that, that was that was that was not as bad as I thought about it. I made that far more complicated than it needs to be, which is a bit of a hallmark of uh, of my plays. All right. Great. I'm going to tot up my uh, results and then uh, then see what I do with my upgrade. Right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me there. That was a terrible. Cheers. Okay, so there we go. Really, really chuffed with that. That was a, that was a good start once I finally remembered how to win the scenario. Um, good, 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 good. Uh, so I'm, I am recording this today and I'm uploading it today, so the, these won't be at all edited. So apologies if it's a little bit uh, scrappy, but there we go. It's all about the fun. So I got seven experience because you get a bonus one in that one. Um, so if I'm going to get deja vu, it has to be now. Uh, so there we go, I've got the deja vu, which of course leaves me with two experience, which I might as well use on uh, cards that I can exile, so I can start seeing how many uh, experience points I can save using deja vu. So I've gone for the two clearest, test of will and devil's luck. Um, no point going for the stroke of luck yet, because uh, I can only save one experience per scenario with that card. So uh, I want to just get as much exile stuff into my deck as possible. Not 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 rubbish stuff, but decent stuff. These two cards are very, very decent indeed. Uh, there's no need to go to the higher experience test of will because, um, I, you know, I, the point is I don't have to worry about the willpower test. I can just have it next scenario for free. Uh, I've decided to take out the two leather jackets because Devil's Luck will take care of my health a little bit. And um, yeah, I just, uh, I'm probably going to replace them with uh, leather coats. Um, is it leather coat? Yeah, it is a leather coat. Um, what's the difference between a jacket and a coat, eh? Wow. Okay, I might think about that. Um, 
Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of those cards. If these had turned up in my last scenario, there's no way I would have played them. So, okay, here we go. We're in the uh, second scenario. Um, I am in the entry hall. I've only got one clue left to find in the billiards room. That's where I'm heading. Um, I'd still like to get some victory points, but frankly, I just want to get out of here alive. Not too, not too worried about trying to make the lodge like me, uh, but equally, I'm not going to avoid it. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do uh, and take it from there. Okay, guys, I will, uh, I will show you when uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show a bit of video when uh, things get juicy. All right, cheers, bye. <laughs> well, this has been a crazy start. Um, I've managed to get there. I managed to get my clues because this place has got a. Um, test agility to get an extra clue and I managed to get uh, the, the actual clue off there using unexpected courage. My first three encounter cards have all been monsters uh, and if you get a monster you're supposed to put them aside and add a doom so I'm already on six doom, I've barely done anything. Uh, also uh, through the gates has hit and just knocked out way lane. Uh, anyway I've got um, <laughs> hopefully two but the way this is going more likely one turn before the doom advances. Oh by the way I have pulled the Elder thing, unbelievable amount of times, absolutely unbelievable. Uh, so yeah, that that decision is uh, is coming home to roost. All right. Okay, we got problems. Um, so the act of the gender is disadvantage. The good news is we're on uh, we're on Valentino's trail. Um, assuming we can get out of here alive, because we've got one, two, three monsters at our location. That one's aloof, which is good. Spectral Watcher has just appeared, which is not good. Um, however, luckily, <laughs> luckily I stupidly put a Lodge Nia fight here, who's now moved to the Victorian Halls. So if I can evade both of these guys, which I should be able to do, and then move here, um, I can actually just let them hunt to him, um, which will happen next time. It'll be slow, but it might have to happen. I can let the uh, Nether Mist hunt to him as well. And then slowly the Spectral Watcher and the Nether Mist can move towards Joseph Michael. Is that going to work actually? When does he die, that guy? No offence, mate. <laughs> um, after the Hunter's move step. Yeah, okay, good. All right. So uh, that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and evade these. Oh, maybe I'll kill this guy. Yeah, maybe I should. Uh, no, I can't kill that guy. Um, no, I will, I will stick to that plan. I'll get to the balcony. I'll get that clue. Good news is I've got loads of clues in that last bit. So I should be able to get out of here alive. <clears throat> but I'll tell you what, it is not a good day to be a member of the lodge because I'm going to abandon these guys at a drop of a hat. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, and I've lost way late, haven't I? So I can't do anything clever. All right. Okay. I'll check it in a minute. Okay, so any uh, any question of whether I'll be siding with the lodge, I think is just about to expire, uh, because all of these guys are going to uh, hunt to Joseph. The Spectral Warrior is going to wake up. Um, oh, actually, no, he's not gone yet, is he? He's still only got one damage on him. All right, okay, well. Okay, you can stay there for another turn. But the great news is that I've got to manage to get all those enemies in the same location, which means the track shoes hopefully means I can dance around them. You'll notice I went <coughs> the opposite direction. I suddenly thought it was a good idea. Do you know what? It wasn't. It was a total nightmare. But there we go. I got away with it. Uh, so far, I've only got one victory point, which is not great news. So I'm going to try and nip up to the office. I've got um, uh, look what I found in my discard pile. I've got the amulet. And then just try and get as much as I can and then get out of here as quick as possible. Okay, here we go. So alas, Joseph Miger is no more. Uh, I have spent my clues. I did manage to get those clues. Uh, we've now got the posse uh, who are going to hunt around in a big old, big old bunch. Hopefully, I can dance around them. Uh, so hopefully, I'll get victory point. I'm not sure if it's a victory point there. <laughs> I wish I knew. Uh, and then just get out of it because this is this is just on the brink of turning into a nightmare. Uh, interesting fact, I have used Tester Wheel, so I've already got one XP back from um, Deja Vu, and I've got a Devil's Luck. <clears throat> excuse me, in hand. All right, let's see how it ends. Fun fact, there is no victory point here, so I've just wasted uh, a couple of actions there, but that's fine, that's okay. So here's an interesting rules question, which uh, might not matter, uh, because I've got deja vu, funny enough, but um, I've just drawn Abandon the Loan, which discards my discard pile, or removes it from the game. However, it says, uh, take two direct horror and remove all cards from your discard pile from the game. I'm, and I've got my amulet in play, and I'm just wondering whether I can play Devil's Luck for my discard pile before it disappears. The fact it says, and I wonder whether that means I can't do that. Um, either way, I'm all right for horror. It's not the end of the world, but uh, it'd be interesting to find that out. So goodbye discard pile. <coughs> okay, there we go. Uh, made it out okay. Uh, yeah, that was all right. 
Um, I got one, two, oh, that's, that's two victory points, four, four victory points, no bonus victory points, no massive surprise to find out that the Lodge are not exactly impressed by me, um, and that's pretty much it, really. I'm now enemies of the Lodge, uh, and there we go, and I will take a little break now, I think, and I'll show you what my upgrades are before I attempt, <laughs> attempt um, the secret name. Having said that, I'm almost certainly going to take one, at least one ornate bow there. So, uh, yeah, I'll give it some thought. All right, thank you very much. That's the end of this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.